Welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, guitar picks uh, which were sent to me by a company called Talon, which are here. There, Talon. Uh, basically, uh, very interesting like this because these aren't just any normal kind of uh, guitar picks. Um, they're a little bit strange. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit, a bit of a story in a second, but basically here they are. Look, I'll put a picture up so you can actually get a better idea of what they are. But uh, they're a really weird shape and they kind of like got like a little cup kind of section to where you put your thumb. And uh, the little bit of a pick sticks out like that, like that. And then you've got another section where you can turn it around for like more flappy picking, you know. But um, they come in three kind of uh, uh, gauges, uh, medium, uh, heavy, medium, light. And within those gauges, they have different uh, values on on the pick on the end of the pick, the actual picking part of the pick. They're different kind of values. Um, as you can see, if I can get this right, you can see it's kind of like twisted, and also it's got this cup on it. But anyway, you'll see you'll see better in the pictures. And the reason for this is is to to make sure that when you hold your pick, that uh, you your 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 picking is is spot on accurate, um, which uh, surprisingly it is. Now, the first, the first thing I came across with these, don't get me wrong, these are great picks, uh, and I'm using this one right now. But I want to take you through the whole story as to how this may affect you as well, because when I first got these in the post, I picked this pick up and I played it on my guitar, and I went, "Oh my god, how can I use that pick? It's just so weird." Right? I can't use it. It's impossible. That was my first my first response, which was a bit of an e-jerk response. But um, so what I thought I'd do, I thought, right, just make sure I'm not crazy, right? And make sure the geezers that sent me these talent picks aren't crazy too, which they probably are. Anyway, um, I gave a, a few few of these picks to a couple of guitar players of mine. And uh, and uh, they picked the the pick up, and they went. Aah! I can't use this pick. It's impossible. I can't play with this pick. It's impossible. It's in the wrong place. Everything's wrong about it. It's totally wrong. I can't use this pick. But anyway, um, Taron sent me a further email saying that hey, stick with this, and you'll see how it all comes together. And I'm thinking, okay, so there's some kind of hidden secret in using this. So I did. Um, I didn't gig with it uh, at first. But I kind of just uh, um, played with it at home, and I quickly realised that my picking style is very bad <laughs> because I changed my picking style uh, for this pick. So uh, I held, I didn't hold the pick so tightly; I, I could hold it looser. Plus, I wasn't holding the pick at an angle so much. Um, and the other thing was that I noticed that the the, the pick was very, uh, I don't know what the word is for it, but it was efficient. It was a very efficient pick. So if I use my old pick, it, my old pick is nowhere near as efficient as this pick. And, and what, I, what I try to explain to you is that when I pick a note, the effort involved is minute compared to my old way of picking when I picked before. So there was a lot more effort going into picking a note um, uh, on my old pick than it was this pick. So the more I used this, the more the secret sauce was revealed. Um, so I, I, I guess that um, my point is, is that if you try these picks out, the first time you use them, you're probably gonna be really freaked out. It's gonna freak you out. Uh, there is nothing like this on the marketplace because it is probably because, um, you know, it's just a tough one for people to get their heads around, but I can assure you that when you play this for a couple of weeks, just practice with it, and you'll you'll find you change your picking style a little bit. I'm not saying you should change your picking style. I mean, my picking style is quite poor. I'm not saying you should change your picking style or change your style at all. But all I'm saying is this will make if you if you get into bed with this, it will make your picking loads more efficient. The other thing I found with this as well, I don't know how this works because as far as I'm concerned, this is a plastic pick, right? It's a plastic pick. 
so you know it's just going to sound like a plastic pick perhaps uh, I don't know but um, so anyway I kind of like uh, AB tested it uh, against another pick uh, and it was so obvious that this pick was so much clearer the clarity when I play the note um, I, I thought well, I'm not going to record it I'm going to play my guitar I'm going to play like a little run uh, because I, I think this is for a little kind of speed run, like really fast run, like a flowing kind of run, which is which are where I pick every note as it runs down. And you could hear that you could hear the difference between using this pick and using, say, uh, uh, one of these style picks. I won't uh, one of these style picks, and everybody knows which pick this is. Um, it's got a picture of a tortoise on the other side, right? We won't say any more than that. But nothing wrong with these picks, by the way. They're cracking picks. I've been using these for. 30 years but anyway back to this so so yeah so what I can say is that once you get over the once you get over the the, the change in the design of the way you're holding it the whole it's just a, it's just it is it's like it's like it, it messes with your brain right but after you get over that and you start playing it and you start listening to what you're doing and watching what you're doing and you're seeing how easy everything becomes playing you know the notes you probably will start to play around with probably the different gauges uh, and the different depths of, of these talons and, and so on and so forth. So um, let's move to uh, a guitar and I'm going to play this run using this plectrum and I'm going to play a run using my normal plectrum or pick or whatever you want to call them. So let's have a crack at that see if you can hear the difference. I got the talon right I got that and I've, uh, I've got the uh, this other pick here, which is the uh, the uh, <laughs> the tortoise uh, the tortoise pick, right? We just call it that, okay? It, some people say it's got a tortoise on it because it's slow. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's give this as well. This is kind of I, I don't really do like really fast playing, um, so uh, so you have to bear with me. I, I might have to do it a few times just to get it get it get it right. <laughs> See, I'm struggling with this pick now because I've been using the other pick. I'm missing some. I notice I'm missing some notes. So I, I go over to this. Uh, I go over to this one. It's just that I've been playing this one quite a lot now. So. Um I'll put more notes in. <laughs> this is much clearer. Back to the other one. You can hear, I mean, I, I, I'm struggling to get all the notes in at that speed. Whereas this one, I'm not struggling. I'm not making this up. It's just, this is freaking me out. It's just so much clearer. It's just cleaner and faster. It moves over the, the it's just easy. I'm, and I'm, I'm not like, when I'm using this pick, oh no, I dropped it. But anyway, when I'm using this pick, um, I, I find myself holding it really hard. And, and, and I think when you hold it, really when, too tightly it stiffens you up it holds you back it stops you from doing uh, what you want to do so yeah this uh, let's try another this is a white one this is kind of a, a light one but it doesn't seem to matter to me which one I use they all seem to be maybe that one actually, actually is a bit too light for me but, uh, this one let's use this medium one where is it there it's an orange one yeah I mean, cool uh, I, I think I uh, <laughs> Back to this one, right? Ah, oh, fuck it. Anyway, so yeah, so um, yeah, so uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe uh, it's just in my head, uh, and maybe I'm just trying to promote these, but I'm not because I don't get paid for it. It is genuinely uh, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good pick uh, once you get your head around it. So there you go. That's my take on these uh, these Talon guitar picks. They're pretty good. I'm going to continue to use them. Uh, and you know, just see how I get on. I think they're, uh, uh, I think they're a game changer. If you, if you, if especially if you're like a, if you're a metal guitar player, I think you'll probably, you, you, you'll love this. You'll love this. Maybe, maybe so. If you're perhaps a, perhaps a bit of an old geezer like me, and you're stuck in your ways, you might not be so into this. But I think some of the, uh, the, the fast guitar players, the metal players, you know, all those young guys doing that, doing some. Um, amazing guitar work on YouTube unbelievable uh, 
these might these might work out good for you because they just make everything so crystal clear each note is so clear but anyway um i'll leave you with that um they're a good pick i'm going to use it not for everything i do but i'm going to use them um give them a try uh they're very well in america they've only come out in february so they're brand new in the marketplace go and buy some see what you think catch you later